Airfun recently came out with new earbuds called the Airfun Airs, and I've been using the Airfun Freeze for a very long time. So in this video, I'm gonna compare the two and let you guys know which one is the right one for you. In the box, you do get the earbuds, the case, the different silicone sized buds, and a USB-C cable, which is pretty similar to the Freeze. Now for the price, the Airfun Airs go for 60 bucks on Amazon and the Freeze go for 50 bucks. It's a $10 difference, so the price gap is not too big. So in my experience, what are the big advantages on the Airs over the Freeze? The first one is the auto in-air detection, so if you do take off one bud either side, the music will stop playing. And the only pair that I own that does this is the AirPods Pro. My Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus can do this, but I have to take up both at the same time, so I just don't find that as practical. Second is I can use either the left or right earbuds individually. Usually with cheaper earbuds, they tend to only work with a specific side. And lastly is the touch controls. This may be more subjective because some people do prefer a physical press. All right, so I just got off the call with Darian on four different headphones. Right now, I'm just gonna compare the Freeze and the Airs. And he said that the Airs are the best one that he liked over the four. But in terms of the Freeze, these are the worst ones. So if you're planning to talk or do a lot of talking to family members or whatnot, definitely the Airs are the ones to get. Next thing to talk about is the sound quality. Honestly, they both sound pretty similar. I cannot tell if there's any difference. The Airs and the Freeze both sound pretty clean and balanced, so I don't think anyone would have a huge issue here. So based on this information, I don't think the sound quality should be the deciding factor on getting one over the other. Next up is the design, and this category is where it's the most different. The Airfront Airs do have a more casual look. They also have that stem-like shape, so it's pretty similar to the AirPod Pros. Whereas the Freeze, they are more sporty. They look like a dot in the ears, so they don't capture as much attention. For the cases, on the Airfront Free, the case feels really hollow and thin. So when I drop this, I'm usually scared because it might crack or something will break. For the Airfront Airs, they are a little bit better. The bottom half is more denser and it's less hollow. And of course, the shape of the cases are different as well, but they are both pretty compact to put in your pocket. In my opinion, here are my biggest factors to get one over the other. Get the ears if you really love talking on the phone, and this is the most important point. Second is having the touch controls. I do like how you can just hold it to increase or lower the volume, or if you are really specific on which side you want your earbuds to have on. And lastly, pick the ears if you really like the overall casual design. But everything else is pretty similar to each other. They both have the same waterproof rating, they both got wireless charging and USB-C. For battery life, the Airfun ears do last a bit longer, so that is helpful if you like talking on the phone for long periods of time. In the end, I'm planning to give the Airfun ears to my mom because she talks to family members every day, so having the good microphones really benefit her. For me, I'm planning to stick with Airfun Freeze. I barely talk on the phone and I'm more active, so I do prefer the sporty look. So that is my review in comparison with the Airfun Airs. If you are interested in getting any of these items, I do have the links down below. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.